Hello everyone, it's Richard and this is, uh, well it's going to be called something new now actually, I thought I'd just extend it, uh, LSG, uh, Live Screen and Games, because I do put some TV and film in there so I thought I might add a little bit extra, so you might notice the format has slightly changed, yes I'm a bit lower down and hopefully you can see the screen a bit better. Uh, first off, Life. Uh, I just thought I'd actually, for a start, do a Google search on me and images, and I found out, yes, <laughs> all my thumbnails are actually up on Google. Uh, very close to the top as well. The second one is me in a Superman outfit, so obviously I am the definitive Richard Holton. So there you go, that's a little bit like that. Uh, what's happened in my life? It's New Year. Had an absolutely fantastic time, uh, some really good times with the daughters, uh, made some nice crafty stuff, uh, I need to put up some bunting which uh, my oldest has done, the youngest put her bunting up yesterday, uh, not perfect but that's the charm of it really, uh, saw some nice friends over, over uh, the Christmas period, didn't see some of my other friends but I missed them. Uh, but unfortunately I didn't really have time for that. Uh, health wise, I was, I've been fighting to get some uh, appointments at uh, Gisborne Park uh, Hospital. Uh, they were trying to apparently redo their uh, clinics and it sounds like it's not changed. So yesterday I had to phone up and got an appointment for two days today uh, for a, an x-ray which is way longer than they expect than they wanted me to way longer than I wanted to because I still can't do what I want even though I feel like I want to do it though I must admit I've tried some things and regretted it I have sat in the car I had found it I just had a really bad cold and I found out that I found on Saturday night Sunday morning I couldn't sleep at all, so I got up at five o'clock, uh, buggy nose, uh, feeling a little bit run down. I thought I'd go outside and uh, try the gears in the car. First and second, not so bad. Third, fourth, fifth, really difficult. I didn't have the strength to do it, and I could not get the car into th uh, reverse. Even whilst it wasn't moving, I had to bend over so I couldn't see the road. I had to concentrate, I had to push, and I really regretted it all that day later on. My arm hurt immensely. And this is what, 16 weeks now since I've had the operation? Uh, so I'm a little bit annoyed at that. Uh, but I'm doing a bit more. I'm trying to do a little bit of uh, washing up of the light stuff. I'm doing some more ironing, I've done some cleaning, I've enjoyed doing that actually, I must admit, and I've done more of it. Uh, I'm planning to do more and make the house look nicer. Let's pray that works. Uh, I have been having some pain in my hand recently, in my arm down, down there, which I haven't had for a while actually. I must admit, a lot of the times when I actually wince or anything, it's not pain, it's more severe discomfort, uh, pulling uh, tendons, uh, stretching muscles, things like that, some things which people with with sprained ankles uh, exhibit, but last three days I've, I've been having really sharp pains in there and in my wrist, and that's not been good, so I, I can't wait to see the consultant about that it's probably more of the physio's area of expertise now. Uh, I think that's really about it for my health. Uh, the Christmas decorations are almost all down. I've taken them all down, just need to box them up now. So that's it, that's the end. That's the end of the hat at the moment. I'm trying to find a nice jolly hat to keep me through the wet periods which, which we've got. Uh, That is, I think, about it for the life. And the next section, screens. Uh, let's go to the next.
I've just watched this today actually from Love Film, uh, Jack the Giant Slayer. Uh, the outfits are what I would call like fifth element type of things, like a, almost like a, a fashion designer had done them. So some of them are a bit odd. They've tried to modernise them slightly, and that started to put me off. Uh, the hairstyles are the same, so basically it, it is like a medieval version of the fifth element in costumes and uh, hairstyles. Uh, but it's great to have a lot of British actors in there. Uh, and the storyline actually ends up being really, really good. And I would definitely give it uh, 7.5 out of 10. The reason why I dropped it down from to 7.5 was some of the costumes. As you can see, uh, Ewan McGregor. It looks a lot better in that picture, actually, but it's all really form-fitting, and armour shouldn't really be like that. Uh, the hero, Jack, he looks like he's got a leather hoodie on, and that didn't sit well with me either, but I try not to be a purist for things like that, but it's their own interpretation, but I enjoy it. I would like to probably get it, actually. If it comes down to £5, I'd, I'd buy it. So I recommend that you watch it, especially in Britain. Uh, it's a, it's a definitely a good family adventure film. It really is. Uh, there might, there's one very recognisable swear word in it uh, about uh, being fatherless, and uh, later on one goes off, and that's it. So uh, no blood. There are. Grizzly things like uh, people getting getting uh, bitten in two, but you don't see that. It's all in your mind, and you don't see any blood, no guts. When one of the uh, giants is slain, the hand falls down, and you know it's severed, but you never see where it was severed. So that's good. So yeah, it's a pretty good film. Uh, dialogue could do with some sharpening up. Uh, the concept is uh, a nice twist on a well-known tale, uh, particularly when you see uh, the giants. There's actually one called Fee, Fi, Four, and Fum. So <laughs> that I like that. I like that a lot. The casting was well for the most part. Uh, a friend of mine. I hope he's all right with me putting this up. Uh, Terry. Gone down to New Zealand to surprise some friends over New Year. He's now surprised them so it can be let out. Uh, him and another person, I can't remember, sorry, I can't remember his name, went to fit a door for uh, Dory, who is uh, who's, uh, the Dory in uh, the Dwarf in The Hobbit. Uh, very envious about that. Uh, apparently, he's a very nice block. And comes to the next bit, which I'm going to speak about, is The Hobbit 3D. Uh, we haven't got a 3D player, so I haven't watched it on 3D, but I have found out that there are bits in the 3D film which aren't in the 2D film, like lots of... Uh, uh, in the second one, it's a lot of butterflies coming towards the screen. Uh, there are some extra bits which aren't in the 2D and the 3D in this, but I don't know which one at the moment. I'll do some research into that. But uh, watch the extended edition. And first time through, there was one bit where I had problems with the Goblin King singing. Uh, I did have problems with that. There were other bits where there were really good comedic parts. Really good. And it really expounds on a lot of the characters and makes it a lot better film. Now, we went to start watching the uh, special features and we started on the last disc and worked forward. Don't ask me why, I can't remember. Uh, but it opened up the appreciation a lot more to the film, so we watched it again. And now, I think the, uh, the Goblin King bit is really good, and it fits the movie. It's just a shame that you got to watch some of the extra features to get that uh, energy back into the film. But I, I, I liked it, I think it's great. It could be one of my best films now, I think that. Uh, Really enjoyed it, and I can't wait for the second one to come out on DVD, even though it's going to be a theatrical version, and then later on in the year, uh, the extended edition. So that's super. Really enjoyed that. 
still need to watch uh, the Man of Steel special uh, features uh, and then I'll report on that. Uh, strangely enough, when we watched the uh, Man of Steel over Christmas, it was like going back to watch it first time again in the cinema. You kind of thought, well, ooh, uh, mm, that's not right. So basically a few more times watching that again, it might actually uh, refresh the uh, our arguments and answers to those arguments in our minds. Uh, now, next section. Games. Uh, I've been playing Terraria, Terraria, whatever, you, you know about that. I've uh, completed all the uh, easy mode mobs and uh, completed the uh, Wall of Flesh, which is the entrance to hard mode, and it gets very hard after that. Very entertaining. I haven't played it for about a week, uh, but very entertaining indeed. Uh, we've got it on uh, a Kindle Fire, so the girls can play it. Well, sorry, Elizabeth, the eldest one, can play it. Uh, and it's a good addition. It really is. The uh, the Christmas things you could do was... That's what I think attracted me. I, I enjoyed do, making uh, candy cane uh, palace and things like that. So that was fun. Uh, I might go back to it again uh, soon, just to try and uh, get the rest of the game and... and, and build my world and make it survive. Try and get a realm of uh, hallowed ground. Now that would be interesting. Right, next one is Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, since watching this, I uh, wanted to get back to it. I uh, started up a new dwarf called Garossi uh, on Lorien, a uh, roleplay, uh, roleplay server for, uh, for the UK. And uh, Loving it, absolutely loving it. My daughter's, my eldest daughter, she's playing on it as well. Uh, it all started with Eleanor for some reason wanting to make uh, a character, so she made a uh, bur hobbit, a uh, burglar hobbit. Uh, but then she deleted that. Oh no, sorry, Elizabeth made another character, which was a bur hobbit, bur hobbit. And uh, Eleanor made an elven hunter, which all the girls seem to have made elven archers at the moment. And having real fun with that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's that. Uh, oh, one one game I've uh, just been looking at last night uh, again was EQ Two. Uh, apparently they've now because it's free to play beforehand. You only had four races uh, for good, four races for evil to play out of all of them, and one of the classes out of the main archetypes you could play. Now apparently those are all unlocked to free to play and it looks like all your backpacks are as well. Don't quote me by that because uh, I haven't actually gone in yet. Uh, I want to do some more investigation because if it is open uh, that much I would recommend going to try it out because it is a good game. It's an old game but it's a good game. It's not as good as the old EverQuest but EverQuest actually did go downhill rapidly uh, over the past, I'd say, uh, eight years. Unfortunately, they, they got too much of themselves. Uh, I don't know what the new expansions for EverQuest 2 will do to it. Uh, we're all waiting for, uh, oh gosh, the new EverQuest 1, EverQuest, oh, never or something like that. Uh, Sounds interesting where you could actually uh, destroy the world. It's all like the voxel type of uh, you can destroy things and uh, do other stuff. So that's good for that. Right, the next one is uh, this book, SDL Game Development. I got this on Kindle for £3.96, whereas Amazon's selling it at uh, £12.99. I got it directly from the publishers. So it's well worth it because it's very good for game programming. You do need to know some things about uh, the C++ programming language and a bit about SDL, even though this is SDL2, the updated version, which reminds me a lot like uh, DirectX and uh, Windows 32 API. Uh, how they're actually putting in uh, textures, windows, uh, rendering, things like that. I'm reading this to try and get me back into game development because I want to do I want to do one for my daughter. She wants uh, me to 
she's always been nagging me to do one for her, her and I'd like to do one. And also it'll be, this is a graphics API which allows you to quickly get prototypes of them running. And uh, that's what I want to do. I, I've been really inspired to do some more games. And I've been writing down the ideas and hopefully that comes to fruition. This comes to a point of I've cut down a lot of my YouTube watching. Uh, for a start, I'm getting bored with what I'm watching. I've watched enough, it's just like reinventing the wheel for the most part. It's not giving me any more insight into those games I've been watching. So perhaps it's time to cut it out. Not completely, because I want to actually keep uh, a tab on the uh, gaming community, what they're playing. I might watch random ones instead. And if a series captures me, I'll watch a little bit more. Uh, I don't think there's any out there which really do capture me at the moment. Uh, ow. No. No, so the plan is to try and get some prototypes up running. Uh, and try and get some uh, games out there. I'll keep you all abreast of that. And hopefully that'll uh, come soon. Uh, that seems to be about it for today. Uh, it's been a bit of a long one, that's because I've actually tried to tell you about the new format and go through a lot of stuff. Uh, hopefully next time it won't be as long. I might actually try and do these once a week. Uh, I haven't done one over the holidays because uh, Vic doesn't like me... Well, I think she feels uncomfortable when I uh, do these in front of her. Uh, but she's a very shy person, so I'll, I'll have to give her that. So I have to do it when she's not here. So, uh, probably helps my bravado as well. Anyway, right, thank you very much all for watching. I hope I haven't bored you too much. And uh, please come back to LSG again. Uh, this is Richard Holton, signing off. Be safe.